Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel and happy 2024. This is my first video in the new year. Yeah, I know it's January 10th, but I finally got some time to sit down and film this video. And I really wanted my first video of 2024 to be something exciting and introduce maybe like a new direction with my channel. I really want to focus more on in-depth brand videos. I want to focus more on maybe not as many hauls and like empties, more just like uh, why candles, the science behind candles, like a lot more exciting candle care videos, lots of things like that, like Crocs. I have a lot of really cool ideas. And in 2024, I really want to get my creative juices flowing and really make a really awesome channel for myself. I've been making YouTube videos since I was 11 or 12 and I'll be 27 this year. So definitely been around for a good while. And speaking of being around for a good while, a brand that I have never tried is Goose Creek. I have a Goose Creek haul for you. Full transparency, I have had one Goose Creek candle a couple years ago. It was a Scooby-Doo candle when they did a Scooby-Doo collab. And I'll be honest, I didn't really care for the fragrance that much. So it really wasn't anything great. I was gifted it by a friend who knew I loved Scooby-Doo. But that was it. I've heard some not so great things about Goose Creek over the years. But in a lot more recent light, I know Kent from the Candle Channel, who's a huge Bath & Body Works reviewer, which we'll talk about Bath & Body Works too. And a lot, I mean, he's been around for a long, long time, is actually a graphic designer and helps design some of the graphics for Goose Creek. I don't believe I got any of his candles this round, but he has talked highly about them after being gifted them to review. And I have just been super disappointed in the Bath & Body Works candle quality over the years and even the past year. It's just a lot of inconsistencies. Sometimes you'll have a really great candle but it doesn't burn but it doesn't perform well throw wise or it doesn't burn well but it throws great so it's not really a great balance it's kind of hard so I've heard so much about Goose Creek they weren't having a great sale I think they're originally like $25.50 and I got them for $13.99 and I did get one of their holiday candles for $8.99 so I got three of the Strawberry Shortcake collab because they do collabs which is super cool. Two from the Signature line, a Valentine's Day candle, what they're considering like a men's candle, and then a holiday candle. So I have a lot of excitement to share with you guys. First sniffs, literally all I did was take them out of the box. And I am part of their Facebook group now, and I see a lot of people getting broken candles. All of my candles received in perfect condition, and I did pay for all of these candles with my own money. So they were not gifted to me. This is my full review on how I feel personally. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first up, we have from their holiday collection, Marshmallow Snow Cream. Now look at the label on this, super cute. You have like, they kind of look like little meringues on the label and this plaid with the stars, there is a gold lid, super cute. And I got this for $8.99. So really excited to try it. And the notes say, yum, double fluffy marshmallows and vanilla cream. Prominent set notes, double fluffy marshmallows, vanilla, snow cream, sugar, milk, cream. So. I'm just reading, it says to reduce sooting, you must trim wicks to a quarter inch each time the candle is to be relit. Avoid using in drafty areas, extinguish after three hours and a burn time of up to 50 hours. So I am going to follow this and see how they perform. I mean, you would never really know that these weren't Bath & Body Works candles unless you looked at the label, like pretty much the same, even like, well here, um, this one has the same type of wicks. These like rope-like wicks, like look at that. They they look very similar. So I'll be very curious to see how they perform. I hope they perform well. Oh, this is nice. I wanted to get something really neutral, really calm, and something that I figured I could um, burn like post-holiday, because obviously it's January, without being like overly Christmas. This totally, it just smells like a vanilla marshmallow. It smells very similar to Vanilla Bean from Bath & Body Works. It's like that sweet, rich vanilla. So it's a good one. I like that. So we'll see how that performs. 
Next we have, let's do from their core line. I was very excited about this, strawberry sponge cake. We have the 360 degree labels on there. Super cute. And the notes read, pick your own farm fresh strawberries and make a creamy, fluffy frozen dessert. Creamy ice cream, pink strawberries and vanilla shortcake. So I love strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works. So I'm expecting this to be very similar. Oh, okay. This is not similar. This is like, oh wow, this is really good. Dare I say it's a little bit better than strawberry pound cake? Ooh, this is nice. Strawberry pound cake to me almost has like a chemically strawberry fragrance. This smells like strawberry sauce. Like, yeah, I know that strawberry sauce is also sometimes like artificial, like that jelly type. But this smells like strawberry sauce you drizzle on ice cream mixed with a pound cake. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. And another reason why I got like a vanilla e candle and a strawberry is because Bath & Body Works candles, when they get halfway, smell burnt to me. So I really wanted to try these to see if they don't smell as burnt. Actually, while we have Alexa, turn off the bedroom. I think she did. Uh, I have some Scentsy going in there and I want to turn off the warmers so I can light a candle and try them out. This is really good. Oh, this is definitely like strawberry pound cake, but elevated. So, and I know that Goose Creek's been around for a while. They have a really big cult following. So let me know if you've tried these and how they compare. So really excited to try that one. Next, I got Espresso Cake Pop. I was debating between this one and Blueberry Cheesecake because I love blueberry cheesecake fragrances as well, but went with this guy. And then I watched Ken's video and he said that the chocolate note's actually pretty predominant in here. So makes me a little nervous, but we have like the cake pops all around the label here. The notes say, oh, it says, so addictive. It's warm vanilla cake pops with rich espresso flavoring. Yum. So vanilla cake batter, warm chocolate cake, espresso beans, vanilla frosting, and sprinkles. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't smell any coffee. And I was hoping for a coffee scent and he said the same thing. Yeah, I don't really get much in the way of coffee, which is disappointing. I was hoping for a coffee candle, but this almost smells like, like a chocolate cake pop. But you know how like when you make a brownie, if you add like, or a chocolate cake for this instance, like instant coffee, it actually makes the like chocolate accentuate the flavor, like how you add salt with caramel, etc. It's almost like the tiniest bit of coffee, but it almost just enhances the chocolate fragrance. I was hoping for this to be a little bit more coffee. Yeah, not what I expected at all. That's okay, it's a good fragrance, but not what I expected. All right, next, we have Just Showered, and I don't love men's fragrances, but I have been dabbling in the last year with more like cologne fragrances for my bedroom, and I've actually really enjoyed them. So this guy is fresh and clean, just out of the shower, and spritzed with a dark, daring cologne. It's date night. And the notes are cool waters, bergamot, cedar, geranium, and iced woods. This smells like a men's. Yep, like a man right out of the shower. Totally. Hit the nail on the head with a name. But it's good. It is like a men's citrus body wash. Definitely not mad about it. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's pleasant. I can't say much more than that. Other than it smells like a man's body wash. So there we go. Now onto the Valentine's Day. I only picked up one because I love rose fragrances and this just really intrigued me. Rose petal icing. And we have like these monochromatic different color blocking, have little hearts on it, and has this really fun white lid, which I love a different lid color. So it's exciting. It says, sweet as a rose, enjoy bright pink rose petals with a soft layer of creamy vanilla sugar with notes of pink rose, water lily, apple, grapefruit, and vanilla icing. Oh, that's bizarre. 
It's not as rosy as I was expecting. Definitely expecting a lot more. Hmm. Rose. I'm definitely getting more grapefruit. Almost like a grapefruit seltzer. Interesting. I was expecting this to be sort of like Pink Petal Tea Cake from Bath & Body Works. And these are also cold because they just came in the shipment, but... Yeah, I'm kind of getting like a... Like a floral grapefruit. Interesting. Don't love that on cold. I was, I was expecting a much more rosy fragrance. So we shall see. So far, this and the espresso I'm not super crazy about, but we will see. All right, now let's talk about the Strawberry Shortcake Collection. I was very excited about this one. This is Blueberry Muffin, and look at how cute. And from what my understanding is that Goose Creek licensed and marketed the um, Strawberry Shortcake Collection last year as well, but they just updated the labels kept some of the same fragrances and added new ones. So, blueberry muffin. Delight in a homemade blueberry muffin, warm from the oven and topped with sparkling sugar crystals. Juicy blueberries, warm muffin, light butter and sugar crystals. Okay, I love a blueberry muffin fragrance and if this is like a true blueberry muffin, I'll be so happy. Oh my God. Oh my God. This literally, this smells like the truest blueberry muffin I've ever had. Oh, wow. Like, you know at the grocery store, they typically come in four packs. They're like those jumbo muffins with the crystallized sugar on top. My favorite kind of muffins. This smells just like that. Oh, oh my God. I kind of want to light this one up first. I want the strawberry sponge cake, but now I'm like, where do I light up the blueberry muffin? This is amazing. Oh, this is a favorite. Okay, what's going in this pile? And now it makes me wonder how the blueberry cheesecake was. All right, next we have lemon meringue and she's super cute, super fun, bright yellow. We have lemons and flowers and hearts. Really, really cute. And the notes on lemon meringue are Yummy, a delicious slice of lemon meringue pie topped with whipped vanilla cream, bright lemon, dense meringue, sparkling sugar, and whipped cream. I also love lemon bakery. Uh huh. Yep. Oh my God, this smells just like a lemon meringue pie. Oh my Lanta, this is so good. Yeah, this smells just like a lemon meringue pie. Oh, I'm so happy. So far, I am loving the Strawberry Shortcake Collection. Oh, this is yummy. This is really good. Okay, wow. Definitely enjoy that. And like, it's so funny. There's so much lemon oil in here. It's like a slightly yellow wax. And that's another thing I've noticed. All of the candles are white wax. And white wax candles burn better than colors. I have definitely determined that to be the case. When you add color to wax, it just doesn't perform as well over time. All right, and then last, I got custard, and there's a little kitty on there, and I have four cats. I love my cats. They're my life, so I had to pick up custard, the cat, and this is warm custard blends with vanilla bean, dense cream, and melted sugar. So we have pink strawberry, dense vanilla cream, soft butter, and melted vanilla sugar, so like a strawberry cream fragrance. Oh, oh, and look at this. This is these these have different wicks than the other one. These actually have like rope-like wicks or like with a metal or not metal, but like with a core center where the other ones have these like cotton wicks. Do you see the difference? Yeah, you can see the difference there. So, different wicks. This is nice. I definitely like the strawberry sponge cake more because of that cake note. Yes, this is like a strawberry cake where this is like strawberry icing, like the frosting on the cake. Still really, really great. And I'm partial because I love the cats, but oh, okay. This is really good. Oh, I'm really excited. I'm not, I'm also in 2024. I'm not just frivolously buying like 
I want to burn these, have some time with them, and solidify if I want to buy more and at least finish four. There's eight here. I want to at least finish four completely before I think about repurchasing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know, have you guys tried Goose Creek? If I picked two favorites from this collection or this order, blueberry muffin and strawberry sponge cake, definitely the favorites from Goose Creek. So let me know down below. I hope you guys have an amazing new year. Um, any other updates? Kringle Reserve Line is launching tomorrow at 9 a.m. I do not get set any in PR, but you can still use my code, DrewYawk15, for 15% off. Sensi, bring back my bar, and Valentine's Day and Mardi Gras is here. You can shop on my website. Bring back my bar voting for June launch is also available this week. So all the things, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world in 2024 and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.